Hello, this is a basic tutorial for how to do some simple things inside Windows and this tutorial is designed for beginners and people who are new to the Windows interface. The first thing you're going to need to learn when you come to Windows is the start menu. If you click this large round button in the corner on Windows Vista or Windows 7 or it'll actually say start in Windows XP but when we click that it opens up our start menu. In most modern versions of Windows, this is divided up into several sections. You have your most commonly used programs here, and then you have all programs, which allows you to see everything you have installed on your system and click those to load that program. You can also use these shortcut words over here, which basically are the most commonly used areas within Windows. Control panel allows you to have a lot of setup options, network course shows you your network settings and then there's computer. Computer is one of the most important uh, areas that allows you to see all the files and folders on your computer as well as all of the drives and there's a few others such as music, pictures, documents and uh, twins up at the top is my username within Windows and that would open up into my user folder which contains documents, pictures, music, games, etc. But for the most top level access I'm going to open computer and this will be called My Computer from within sad Windows XP, but it's basically the same. So I click that and it opens up Computer, and this shows us all of our hard disks up at the top, and then it shows removable drives below, which shows us a DVD drive and a flash drive. It also shows some of your most common links at this top quadrant, and then down in the bottom, it shows an expanded view of all of the directories that are in the tree that you're currently in. So let's first go into our C drive, and uh, I have the large icon mode on, which shows you that these are all folders, and there's a few common folders you're going to see on just about any version of Windows, and the names may be slightly different, but they have the same purpose. The first one is Program Files, or My Program Files, and that is where every program that is installed on your computer uses this folder to store its information, its executables, and its configurations at the most basic level. And then you also have users, and uh, this shows uh, the directories for each user that is associated with this computer. And now I want to show you a little bit more how to make and manipulate files and folders. And to do this, I'm going to use my removable hard drive E. And uh, once I get in that, you can right-click on the white space and select New from the shortcut menu. And this is really a great thing Windows has done to make everything easy. You select folder and we have a new folder. We can go into that by double clicking it. And now we can do the same thing. This time we're going to make a new file and I'm going to make a text document called text. So that's just a basic idea of how to create new files and folders. But really there's a lot more you need to know to be a master of your own files. The first one you're going to use the most often is renaming. Because text.text .text is not really that helpful, it doesn't really tell me anything about what this file is. So I'm going to click it once and then wait for Windows to realize that it's just one click and not a double click. And there it is. It highlights it and I can just rename it right away. Something that makes a little more sense. So I'm going to say budget. So this is my budget. And now I know what it is. And I want to copy this. So what I'm going to do is make a copy by right clicking once again and selecting copy. And I'm going to go back and that puts it into a temporary storage area call, called the Windows Clipboard and it'll stay there until I paste it out or until something else is copied in there and replaces it. And the reason I copied it is because I want to do a little bit of file organization. I want to do the right click again, new folder, budget, documents. And even though I've been doing all these different things I can still right click and paste and it comes right out of the uh, clipboard so that's just the quickest and easiest way to copy a file. You can also use control C on the keyboard instead of the right click for copy and control V for paste. It's really kind of a personal preference. But let's go back and you'll see that now I have this file in two locations so let's click on it and delete it. That's just that simple. I could click delete on the keyboard or just using the mouse I can right click and select delete. It will confirm. I say that it's OK. And I'll go back. Now what happens if you want to move a file? Well that's simple as well. You can just drag it and drop it. So if I come over here you see this is my tree for drive E. There's my budget. There's my new folder. 
So if I just grab this file, drag it over to a new folder, and let go, it moves it. Of course, I need it to be in budget, so I'll just move it back, let go again, click on budget, there it is. It's just that simple to move and manipulate files from within Windows. And next, we're going to move on to some command line topics. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but with the command prompt, and also take a look at some of the command prompt tools. And you may wonder why you need command prompt tools, but if you are around computers for a long time, and especially if you plan to make a career out of it, or do a lot of networking, you really need to get comfortable with the command prompt. So to get to the command prompt, you can click Run here, and tap CMD, and that works for all versions of Windows. Or if you have Vista or 7, you can just tap in CMD here, and it brings it right up. And you can click on it. Either way, you have the same end result, and it opens up into our user's directory. I'm going to go back to drive E, which is where we were playing earlier. And to do that, I just type in the drive letter and a colon. So if I go back to C, it's C colon. And rem notice that it remembers what directory we were on when we left C. That's a nice little feature. It's been there forever, but it's still nice to remember. And we'll go back to E, and I'm going to show you how to discover what files you have on your computer. To do that, you type in dir, which is short for directory, which is what everyone used to call folders. And that brings up a quick list of everything that's in this folder that I'm in, which is the root folder on E. And as you can see, we still have new folder available right there. So now I'm going to go into that folder, and to do that, I type in CD, which stands for change directory, then a space, and then new folder. Notice that the caps don't have to match from win with inside Windows. And I do a dir there and find out this directory is empty. So I'm going to go back to the main directory, and to do that, I type cd dot dot, which is just a shortcut to go up. And I do a dir again, and notice that we have budget documents as well. So we'll go there instead, cd budget documents. DIR, and there's our budget text. So let's say we want to copy budget text back to the new folder, just like we did uh, when we were with inside a graphical interface. And to do that, we type copy, then the source file, which is budget text, and then the location that it's going to, which is E slash new folder. And notice that it says that the syntax is incorrect. And actually, the syntax is correct for most things that you're going to run across in Windows. But if you have a space inside your command, which I do, you have to put it within quotes so it knows where the command ends. So this time, we're going to do quote E slash new folder, end quote and it works perfectly. So that's something that happens to a lot of people and just remember that if it has a space inside the folder name or the file name you will need those quotation marks. So now let's go back, we'll go to CD and this time I'm just going to put slash to make it jump back to the main and then put new folder and it goes straight there because it's uh, programmed, the slash is the root so it's saying CD, go to the root, then look for new folder. So we'll do a dir there. There's our copy of budget text. Now we want to move that file. This time, instead of leaving a copy here, it will actually move it to this, a new location, just as it did when I dragged and dropped it. So we'll tap move, budget dot text, e slash. Notice I didn't have to put it in quotes this time. And now we just go to cd slash or cd root dr and here's our budget text right here. So it's really simple and easy to move files around, to copy files around, and there's a lot of other things you can do from within command prompt, uh, but this is a great place to start.